when a figure in power reflexively calls any press that doesn't suit him fake news, it is that person who should be the figure of suspicion, not the press. The enemy of the people was how the President of the United States called the free press in 2017. Mr. President, it is a testament to the condition of our democracy that our own president uses words infamously spoken by Joseph Stalin to describe his enemies. <music> 2017 was a year which saw the truth, objective, empirical, evidence-based truth, more battered and abused than at any time in the history of our country, at the hands of the most powerful figure in our government. It was a year which saw the White House enshrine alternative facts into the American lexicon as justification for what used to be simply called old-fashioned falsehoods. Between the mighty and the modest, truth is a great leveler. And so, respect for freedom of the press has always been one of our most important exports. But a recent report published in our free press should raise an alarm. Reading from the story, Quote, in February, Syrian President Bashar Assad brushed off an Amnesty International report that some 13,000 people had been killed in one of his military prisons by saying, you can forge anything these days. We're living in a fake news era. In the Philippines, President Rodrigo Duterte has complained of being demonized by fake news. Simply put, it is the press's obligation to uncover the truth about power. It is the people's right to criticize their government, and it is our job to take it. <laughs>